بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله Ladies and gentlemen Good morning It's a great pleasure to be here Conferences are extremely important Conferences, events, get-togethers Why? Because it brings the minds together And gets the visions closer to reality that's what this is all about we have excess of 400 people in this hall which you can exchange experience with it's not about the speaker who stands here and talks about his experience but it's also about the experiences around the table so for 30 seconds for 30 seconds I want you to look around your table and if you know everybody around your table, look to the next island, I mean the round table. For 30 seconds, I want you to introduce yourself to one of the people that you don't know in this conference. Please go ahead, 30 seconds. Let's see how you want to know others. 30 seconds. more seconds do it quick exchange business cards introduce yourself don't just give business card with a smile shake hand say who you are you are proud of yourself excellent excellent all right <laughs> I have to stop you now <laughs> please stop <laughs> Ah, see, you like to talk to each other, but you just needed someone to push you to do it. That's what UAE nationals need. They need a coach, somebody to be with them on the ground and tell them it's all right to do this. Go ahead and do this. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Go learn. Excel. One thing I learned over the years of attending conferences, it's in excess of 23 years. I'm not that old, but. <laughs> that every conference I attend, I go back with at least three pages of ideas. You see, ideas come to you when you are least expected. You sit here around the table and you say, ah, oh, boring speaker. And then your mind goes off because actually at work, most of the time, you're busy doing things. You're busy doing things all the time. So when you sit around here, ideas come to you when you are least busy. And boom, you see a big light at the top of your head, just like cartoons in the old days. That's an idea. Now, what do you do with that idea? Usually what we do with that idea. Forget it, maybe after the conference. If you remember it, you'll implement it. But if you don't, it's gone. And it goes to the next person, actually. Ideas, they fly. They go to the next head. And that head could be the person who actually jots it down. And they says, I got great idea for my company. I got great idea for my boss. I have an idea of the year. Now three pages, now we have today one day only, so take one page. One page full of ideas, write them down. When I go back to work, I look at my page of ideas, I select three, and I implement one. Ladies and gentlemen, for the last 23 years, all these ideas, 99.5% were a success story. 
Now that's what you need to do. You need to take those ideas with you. It could be something that the speakers would say. It could be something that you just remembered. Take it with you, write it down, and build on it. Don't come and don't be those, those type of people who, after five years, he sees a great idea took place in Dubai or in UAE. He said, you know, this was my idea. Okay, where was that idea? It was right here. <laughs> you, see, you see, if you don't transform that vision to a reality, it's a dream. <laughs> you know what's the difference between a dream and a vision is? Anybody? Raise your voice. A dream not necessarily can be achieved, right? It's a dream. But a vision, that's why they call it a vision, right? Because you see it every single day. Every single day, that's your vision. That's how UAE was built. Was built on a vision. It wasn't just an idea of somebody and then we came up with all these achievements. It's a vision. My topic today is very close to my heart. I talk a lot about the UAE nationals. You see, I am a UAE national. And I recall when I went to find a job, the main question always comes in. What's the question that comes in? UAE nationals. What the question that they ask you when you apply for a job? Experience. Isn't it? It's always the question about the experience. I said, I, I don't know. <laughs> I just graduated from university. I have transcript. You see, it's all BAs and Bs and some of the Cs. Uh, I'm a hard worker. Oh, yeah? You're a hard worker? Where did you work before? How can you prove to me that you work hard? No, no, no. You know, what we'll do to you is we'll take you for a training program. We'll take you to a pre training program, and then we'll take you from there, and then we'll see how you develop, and then maybe we'll give you a good position. But I studied four years, and some of us, three years, either in college and universities. Was that a waste? You know, I recall when I graduated from the high school and I went to the U.S. to study, the first thing I learned, they said, you know what you, say, you learned in the high school? I said, yeah. They said, forget that. Now is a new life. So when I graduate and I come with all that motivation and power, and I said, I want to apply what I have learned, he said, you know, well, you know what you have learned in the university? Forget that. Because this is the real world. You cannot make mistakes here. And that's why the idea came in and I said, if I have four years, why we are not working in those four years? You see, the advantage of non-UAE national over the UAE national is, do you know what the advantage is? US, Europe, even the Far East and the East? I'm sorry? Experience. They have the work experience. I remember when I used to study, I had friends of mine, American friends of mine, in the afternoon they would be working in Burger King, they would be working in McDonald's or in one of the companies, or they'll be working with a dean, right? So when they go to apply for work, they actually have all these experiences. And my question is to the corporates, companies, even the government entities, why you get married blindly? Don't you like some of the engagements? Some sweet time? <laughs> you see the person, you like the face, you like the talk. Oh, no, no, no. We do that when we call them for interview. I call the university. Do you have a list of people? They come in. I call them for interview. In 44, 45 minutes of interview, they decide if they like you or not. I tell you, 
best actors can survive more than 45 minutes. So my idea is, I was having a, a coffee in one of the uh, branded coffee shops in uh, one of the malls. And the gentleman was so good and serving me with a smile, giving me all I requested, giving me the change back. And I stepped back and I said, wow, that is professional, right? Isn't that what we call professional? Task executed efficiently with quality. And then I went to this gentleman and I said, may I ask you where you're from? And he said, he's from India. And I said, what is your qualifications? He said, I have a high school. Now a high school person can be a professional, right? Then I said, why is it that I haven't seen, imagine this, you go to Starbucks, tea leaves, you go to any of the coffee shops that you prefer, right? And at the cashier, you have a UAE national standing there professionally and telling you, how may I serve you? Is that possible? Really? Who said yes? <laughs> Is that possible? Will your parents allow it? <laughs> I can hear <laughs> silence and yes. So the silence means no? Will you allow it to your children? Yes. 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 Everybody else? <laughs> no. Why? It's the culture. If we are able to change that kind of culture, that we allow our kids to work, let them be behind at the salat or do counter, let them sell services, let them be behind the counters of Sharjah Islamic Bank, let them earn their experience, their rights. Correct? Isn't that their right? It's wasted for four years. And then after four years, we are asking them to? Experience. experience. So I would suggest whomever is here from universities, from corporates, from people with decisions, Let's really look into this. Let's look at the UAE nationals. Why are they studying? Be part of their study. Please don't tell me about work placements. You know what work placement is? Passing time. What is it? Passing time. It's a vacation. It's a vacation. Now, I didn't understand this. Is it four minutes, one minute? What is that? He did this and he did this. So I didn't understand that. <laughs> Who's the flag? Where's the flag at? Which way? Oh, behind the lights. You expect me to see that? All right, I'll do that. <laughs> so with decisions, let's be able to get them there. I want to see the new new nationals sitting behind the counters, selling, serving. Let them get that feel. If, for example, I'm an organization and I would like to get the best of UAE nationals, I need to know them first, right? The engagement, sorry, this finger. No, this finger, right? <laughs> the engagement has to be there. I have to know them. You expect them to know them 45 minutes, you take them on board, say even if it's two, three days and you take them on board and then you cry about that, oh, he's not doing good, she's not doing good. Well, bring them in. Let them get into the culture of your organization. Let them work for you for four years. Now, don't give them eight hours. Give them four years. Four, four years. Four hours. And let them work for you. They will understand your culture. They will understand how to deal with colleagues, deal with the management, deal with the subordinates. When they come to you, they will be my favorites. They are the plug and play. Remember the computers in the old days? I'm out. <laughs> Remember the computers in the old days? 
You have to put the software, you have to install, install, install. Today, you get your phone or your computer, you switch on, what is it? You're in. I want UAE Nationals to be plug and play. Um, so, I have the red flag, but I'll take one minute, a message for the UAE Nationals before and during, and one message for the corporates before and during. Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, Vice President, Prime Minister of UAE, ruler of Dubai says, the emiratization plan is primarily based on training and qualifying UAE nationals, yeah? equipping them with all the necessary tools and competencies, and the most important one is supporting them confidently, supporting them, yeah? To do what? To get a job? To compete in the job market, not to get a job. We as UAE nationals, we do not go for the least. We want to compete. So when we get all these applications coming in, okay, oh, UAE national, wow, I'll take this one. And then people and companies fight over that. That's what we would like to see, not Let's add a number to our UAE nationals. Responsibilities of you, UAE nationals, who are actually going to the work environment or the URIN, you have three pillars, remember them please. This is what you take with you from this conference. Three pillars. Number one, personality management. Number two, skills management. Number three, knowledge management. Personality management, how you appear how you market yourself, how you talk to people, the choice of words, the choice of sentences, how you sit, how you discuss. Work on these, the positive attitude. Number two, skills management. If you're going to work in a bank, go ahead and take as much part-time as you can. Get the skills. Number three, the knowledge management. Know everything that you need to know about that organization. And if you are working in that organization, you must know everything about your job. If I ask a question and you're hesitating, I'm running out of time. If I ask a question and you're hesitating about your job, then you have a problem with knowledge management. If you can't actually get the message to me, you have a personality management you need to work on. And if you're not doing the job, professionally, remember, doing the job efficiently with quality is the skills management. That's my advice to the UAE National. Actually, this works for everybody. Those are three pillars you have to have. Last one, I'm keep pressing the red button, sorry about that. Now, the employer contribution, I believe that it's your job to use that knowledge management to be transferred to the people who are you're recruiting. And we talked about at the very beginning, don't go for bland marriage, do engagements, do milche. We have something we call milche for our people who don't speak in Arabic or doesn't know our culture. Yeah, know the person more, let them work for you four years and you'll get there. The other thing is talent management and then training, training, training. Keep giving them what they need and what they deserve. If you do all of that, I think you will reach, we will reach to have a true UAE national professionals. Thank you very much.